Hello Gothic friends, Razvin is my name. Welcome back to the worst let's play of the world, Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. In today's episode we are going to continue straight, clearing to the Gothic 1 and level up a bit more before we go to the orcs. There is a tug. Ah nice, they die. Up there is something, right? Yeah, there is a guy. Let's get up, up there. See if he has anything to tell us. We have the mind crawler armor. Why are we full? Oh, we level up. That's why we are full health. Yeah. Oh, so dramatic. What's up? Those are good experience points. Also very good that we kill them also with a weapon in the original. Yeah, I keep comparing them because I still enjoy the original a bit more. But this is better here. In the original, they don't die. I mean, you knock them out and that's it. So I have to manually kill every single one of them. Oh, right. We have other spells. In the control? No, the friendship, telekinesis, pyrokinesis. Let's see the pyro. What does that do? Oh, we can kill them also with that. Yeah, a bit weird. Okay, where did we save last time? Yeah, the pyrokinesis is not par. I mean, it's not great anymore. Do they mind us being here? Yeah, the, this is also not great. We are going to use our powerful spell. This is better. Perfect. Look how many of them are coming. Lot of arrows. Did we kill every one of you guys? Yeah, see? Lots of experience and money. As we said, we need money. We are poor suckers now. They have nothing more, right? So I wish they they had some purpose in the game. Probably in the remake, they are going to create something from them for them, because there was a guy named also here. I forgot what was his name, but there was a named NPC. Queen Quinton, I believe. Probably they are the bandits that keep raiding the Gomez's camp. I don't know. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing here. Lots and lots of potions now. Almost leveling up. Actually, we can use our summons here. Yeah, let's do that. This is not good anymore. This is needed. The demons, are they... killable? With the undead? No. He's fire, probably he's immune to fire, right? Okay, we can use those spells. Do you drop anything? No, nothing. Oh, undead. The demons are not undead. Yeah, 
they are powerful be beings, but we don't need them. Because as you can see, we can take damage from them also. They barely deal damage to us. We, if we summon more of the demons, I believe they fight each other. The same as the golems. Oh, no more demons, okay. What's next? Summon golems. Going to check if the axe is going to deal any damage or no damage. Luckily, we still have the hammer. That's hammer, right? Hammer time. Experience is experience, as we don't kill any NPCs that are not needed to be killed. We can use the summons. Instead of helping us, we help them. Yeah, die, beast. So can we summon more of those guys? If we summon more, we can just simply kill them after with a undead. Unless we crash our game, but we shouldn't crash it. Okay, now would be powerful uh, AoE that one shots them. Ah, uh, the sounds they make. We will have to do the Chroma Nin quest also. Lots of skeletons there also. Oh, you. Sorry that I miss you. So their weapons give us some money back. Now to loot some of their stuff. And then good we are. I don't know if people know about this, if they can use that or they want to, if they consider that cheating or cheesing or I don't know, abusing the system. In Gothic 2 they remove it, they give no more experience, but in Gothic 1 they do give experience. Okay, we took almost all of them. And we are almost level up. Yeah, once we level up we will go and learn the next level of the two-handed and after that we should be good to go so nice that you can cast the spells while running walking did we clear everything here except the one scavenger that we have seen back there Yeah, I believe so. So let's kill that scavenger, not let him live alone. There he is, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I believe it is further back down. Right? Yeah, there he is. Okay. And the one minute is gone. Is it really one minute? Did we see something there? Yeah, near Cavalier and also we have to check the guys there. I mean, there is a path that we haven't checked before. With snappers, with some orcs. 
this here is cleared, yep. We can kill the guards near the old camp, because... Oh, mole rats. They did make a comeback here into this cave. Milton is there, can we talk to him? Now, only one mole rat. What a rat. So Milton, do you have anything for us? Seal. Yeah, simulator. Eight guard, eight guard. Okay. There is a powerful guard there. Uh, we can try them with this. Deals a lot of damage. Ah, Fletcher was there. So, in the Gothic 2, Fletcher makes a comeback somehow. I wonder how if he's here. He shouldn't be positioned here. He wanted to leave. But they did position him here, so... That means he didn't make it. Because we would have to kill them all here. So which route are we going to take now to clear? I believe the one that's cavalry. We shouldn't have used the healings and stuff because we would sleep anyway. Ah, more guards there. We need a guy, the strong one. Yeah, this one. Nice. So that means we can go and learn that. Yeah, let's teleport there. To the new camp. We need... L oh, the, the effect is gone. Damn it. We need a Lee. Let's clear it, Lee. But weird that he doesn't say anything that we have the Ulu Mulu. Let's... Have it on. Lee. I want to learn more about 220 the two units. First Weird. Of all, you need to change your basic stance. Hold the sword vertically. Grasp the hilt firmly in both hands and hold it at the we side have an of the Bring it down quickly and swing the blade over your shoulder. Now's your chance to do a quick slash to your right. Your opponent won't stand a chance of coming at you. Or bring the sword down from the top left and a forward thrust to drive your opponent back. Spin round to give your next blow the necessary momentum to strike your opponent down. If it isn't enough, use your remaining swing to wield the sword again. When you've finished your attack, block your opponent and wait for an opening to strike again. The key to success is varying your stances and changing positions. Okay. So oh, 60%, there is nothing more, right? Nope. Hang on. You have to watch what you tell Put the weapon down. I'm one of you. Yeah, yeah, I've been lucky, you know. So we learned. Two hands at that maximum. From now on, oh, we, we still have learning points. Mana or power? Yeah, let's do mana. Get it 100 and start using the permanent points. Because with magic we are done. Well, not really. I know. Yeah. I can help. I can. Nice. I know we have the sixth level to learn it. Sixth, uh, sixth circle. So the forest is clear there. 
I know where we can next go. It's to Cavalier on side. That we do with a speed potion. <laughs> we are powerful. We can take a lot of hits. Except the uh, arrows somehow they deal a lot of damage. Oh well. We will get more experience once we can go to the old camp. There are a lot of stuff. Because we have to deal with Gomez, the bastard. Who killed so many people, or masters, or friend. So up there I have no clue if there is something else. But here we see one thing. Oh, lizard. I just wish there would be better spells for us. Aiden, you are still alone, right? Yeah. You enjoy the time of your life, right? Soon we reach Cavalier, and from there we have a special portion of the map that we are going to access. We use the talisman just for the lulls of it. We don't need a strength for now because we don't use two-handed. We just wanted to get it out of the way. Oh, actually, let's see how are we fighting with it. Still the same, right? Oh, okay was good. What did we hit? No clue why I keep hearing the sound as we were hitting. We were shooting the magic. Or we were channeling the magic. A cavalier shouldn't have anything for us, but Sergio might have better stuff. Why was he hurt but not Lucky killed? For you. Yeah, I know. Don't I make me kill. Polishing your mug. Hey, he has you. a beautiful sword. Show me what. Oh, right. He has the swords. I don't like the axe, but the swords are nice. Yeah, or except our sword is better. I mean, not the sword, the axe that we have. More money for us. I don't know if the sword that he's wearing is better. Looks powerful. But we are not going to abuse the system in this regard. But the summoning, yeah, because I want to experience. So, snappy snap, look how many of them are there. Oh! And more are coming. So there are two roads. One to the left, one to the right. Let's take it to the left. Or is this just a cave? I really haven't really checked this part of the map a lot. Especially when I was young, because this was so easy to get lost. Because you would come to Cavalier and then go here and then like, ooh, powerful monster so close. And then I would just get too coward. There were lizards here before, as far as I remember. Because I was shooting them with arrows from up there. Or am I mistaken? Maybe the later, so... Ah, there he is. Why aren't you in your cage? 
very recently learned about this, I believe two, three years ago when I played the game. That there is actually this portion of the map. I have no clue why I haven't checked it. Probably as I said, trauma since I was a little child to never come here because it's too scary. Yeah, the caves are so empty. This looks very beautiful to create a base. Perfect plats, uh, place to protect yourself from only one entrance. You would have a river with water. Oh, looky look. They shouldn't do anything to us, right? Yeah, see? Ulumulu, ulumulu. Only that works, yeah. Come, let me give you a tap on the back. Oh, sorry. The Ulumulu is tricking you. So what was here? Was it like an arena or something? Or what's the point of this place? Or is this a sacrificial place where people, the world, the orcs did sacrifices? Maybe. Bad sword, but yeah. Nothing important for the time you can actually check it. But exploring is fun. It has to be fun. The same things are in the same chest. Do they signify anything or what? So now we can run. We are done with this also, with this part. We have to go to the sect camp, to the sect lunis and probably meet with a guy with the Urshak and tell him about his friend, that we saved him, that we got Ulumulu. And see where he guides us. But we have a forest there to check and the, the beach, yeah, probably we will do that. Oh, what are you doing here? Scorpio had such powerful swords, but a bit we weaker than our barbaric voice, whatever is the name is. Did you just want to sit down? No, you cannot do that. No can do. To Diego we can go. Kill the, the guards there also, why not? Just because we can. Because they kill our friends. The magicians. We are lucky that we were gone, otherwise we would be executed also, assassinated, as they said. Ten more. Okay, one level up and then we get maximum mana. Then strength and then just... Hey you! Sixth circle. Take care. We could teach us something, right? Was there a guard? Bloodwing is there. So Bloodwing also makes it to the graphic too. Yeah, that was a perfect hit. Nothing, no ore. Yeah, no. Make enemies, you need to be able to handle them. Die. Are you trying to kill me? Ah, okay, the guys on the other side. Nice of you to leave me some of your ore. I take better care of your weapon than you have done. Okay. Yeah. Didn't expect to be able to kill that guy. Oh well. So now we can clear the forest near the swamp camp. There are some works that we have left last time. What about our friend back there? 
Did we take care of him? No. Pacho. Yeah, you died like... I, I'm not going to say it, how you died. Like a little that you are. Those guys are mean to us. They would have killed us anyway, so... We just did it before they could do it for us. But this forest can be cleared also. It's a scary forest. Have some powerful enemies in it. But we will manage it. We will clear it. The swamp is cleared. Yeah, there is nothing. This is actually very nice that you can hit while walking. This is a nice case and that is free aim. Otherwise you would just hit from behind you, from a side. Without even watching. Oh! Because of the aggro range, the reduced aggro range. You guys don't kill each other. Otherwise the wolf would have cleared here. The guy doesn't care that his friend died next to him. So there are more stuff to be killed here. Easy stuff, but makes it is fun. We enjoy our magic. But I would really like a new spell. Down there there is nothing, right? Yeah, it's nothing. Lots and lots of stuff to kill. Oh right, there is also that forest that we missed. Small forest. A wolf, okay. we will kill also but I want to go a bit back on that route right see if there is something else that we missed how do you guys do it in the gothic one do you actually start clearing monsters enjoying it or just rushing to the end I mean there is no reason to just rush it because 69% of us know what's going to happen with the story oh the shadow beast is back Let's see if we can deal some good damage to it. Oh, one shot it, okay. Actually, that is powerful. Yeah, I have to admit it. So on this side, it's done. Good. Then with the works to fight and then to the skeletons. There is going to be very easy because we have the one shot spell. We are not going to keep letting the skeletons summon enemies and we just wait for them and kill them now. We are not going to play that route. The spell, the summoning, yes, because they are limited. We have to pay for it. But the rest we are not going to, to abuse the system in that way. Back here, we will check. We will fight with the wargs. Uh, lots of wolves, okay, on the other side. Yeah, very... Many of them, not very, but lots of them. Where are the works? The worky works. There they are. Yeah, 
Anything else here? No, I believe that's it. Oh, no, never mind. There are some stuff. This is a powerful spell. And they are quite... Get Ah, not anymore. Let's see. Three of them we got. Oh, the scavenger. You are crazy. You were so close to the orcs, to the orc dogs. Yeah, in the original probably we don't see that because they simply just hit them. As soon as we get close to their range. But here, because the egg range is reduced like no tomorrow, they actually manage to survive. There is a wolf. Back there. Oh, okay, I know where we are now. Expected to be on the other side. But whatever. Because we have the killing of the... Ah, I remember I left you alive when I was on the other side. So we will have to clear this forest and that side to check. I believe there is nothing, right? That spawn on that side. I always thought that here we would go to the... There is nothing. To the beach. But no, it's that way. That we go to the beach. No clue why I always thought that way. So there is the tower, the powerful tower of Lauron. Yeah, joking, it's not. But this is something. Here is going to happen. Something in the 6th chapter or the 5th chapter, I believe. We get a quest. We'll go from up here. I thought I heard skeletons down below. But we go from up here and then we will go down and we will reach the beach anyway and then once we go to the beach we check that side and then we are done with this forest yeah we hear the skeletons here lucky we have something for them up there is nothing right someone is reading oh look at the guy Yeah, you cannot get up here, haha. <laughs> Is it really? I forgot if we were here. Yeah, there is nothing. What the... What the skeletons? Yeah, this is going to take a while to explore, so I... I believe we should make a cut here and in, in the next episode we can actually... Start fighting. Yeah, I'm going to make a cut here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye-bye.